so did that guy see me? Kinda hope he didn't. But yeah, no, he saw me. Oh my god, he saw me. Oh my god, he saw me so hard. He's, what is he doing? How is he hitting me? Yeah, he's hitting me with a fishing rod. I don't know how he's doing that. But I'm gonna get him in this building. Let's do this right here. Let's go, Ed's son. Let's go, Ed's son. And this guy's going to kill me. He's so gonna kill me. He's so gonna kill me. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another round of these survival games. I'm your host, Squaffles, bringing you guys this episode, and today, we're gonna sprint right into middle and grab a weapon. Hopefully, can I get a weapon, please? Oh my god, I got a fishing rod. Amazing! Okay, let's get out of here before all the people with weapons decide to kill me, because I'm already being attacked. I'm already down four hearts, god dang it. And I've- Oh, man! I just started this game. Alright, so hopefully no one's gonna follow me. This guy is going to kill me. He's totally gonna do it. Oh my god, please don't hit me into the lava now. That would have been so bad right there. Okay, so, uh, let's run by these guys. Maybe I can attack one of them once, uh, the other one kind of fights that other guy. And, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, let's chase this guy off the cliff. I can probably catch up to him. And then we can start talking about our topic. So, uh, this guy just messed up doing that. And I'm gonna get him right there, right there around the side. So, let's pick up that iron helm and put it on. Okay, now I can start my topic. So, you might have wondered, why did you miss a video? in between a couple of days. It's been a couple of days since you posted a video. And well, that's because I've been gone. In the last three videos you saw, I was gone through that entire portion of time. I just was non-existent, just wasn't even here. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, I went up on vacation to Vermont, which was very, very fun indeed. So, uh, I went up there and we drove a car. So, I won't tell you how long the ride was, because if I told you how many hours it took to get up to Vermont, you would know exactly where I live. And I don't want you knowing exactly where I live. So, I'm just gonna skip that portion of the story. So, anyway... We drive up, you know, all the way to Vermont, and uh, I'm planning on having videos up every single day while I'm gone. And I was super prepared for it, and I spent a lot of time getting all the videos together and stuff. And uh, I had a total of three videos, so three days of material, so I would be gone. And I expected to be gone um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then get back on Sunday. But uh, I believe today is Sunday, so maybe I just misplanned, you know? But no, because, so, so Thursday I was gone, Friday I was gone, Saturday I was gone. So that's the three videos right there. So I guess I expected to be back Saturday night so I could have a video up Sunday. I'm not really sure what my plan was, but either way I missed a day or two of videos. And that's why uh, I'm making this one right now, because I gotta get some material out there, right? And I might as well tell you what's been going on. And uh, yeah, so I had a fun time up in Vermont, and we did a lot of stuff. We did some mountain climbing, we did mountain biking. It was great, because you know, Vermont is filled with freaking mountains. And it's just so much better than where I live, where it's all flat, basically. It's all flat and city where I live, so it's just, you know. Just boring, you know, you drive through the city, it's the same thing, over and over, big brick buildings, you know what I'm talking about if you live in a city, or, you know, somewhere around a city type area, so did that guy see me? Kinda hope he didn't. But yeah, no, he saw me, oh my god, he saw me, oh my god, he saw me so hard, he saw me so hard, he's hit me with a fishing rod, can I just, like, go? He's, what is he doing, how is he hitting me? Yeah, he's hitting me with a fishing rod. I don't know how he's doing that. But I'm going to get him in this building. So let's do this. Let's do this right here. Let's go, Ed's son. Let's go, Ed's son. And this guy's going to kill me. He's so going to kill me. He's so going to kill me. He's so going to kill me. It's the same kid and I killed him. Oh, that's the kid who killed me last game. That's the kid who killed me last game and I totally thought he was a hacker, but he's not because I just killed him. So let's eat that mushroom stew. Let's get the other mushroom stew out. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's get my crap back together. Okay, Um, I need a chest. And there's a guy that far away. So that doesn't matter. Okay, whew, anyway, so those people got me riled up, so, um, as I was saying, I was in Vermont, um, doing some mountain biking, hiking, all that stuff, uh, we hiked up to the top, the peak, well, so, well, first, I guess, we, um, went up to Vermont, we stayed in Underhill, right, we camped in Underhill for a couple of days, which sucked, didn't have a shower, um, there were bathrooms, luckily, thankfully there were bathrooms, but no shower, so I was a very dirty, smelly boy, <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably like, why are you even, why, why even mention that, you dirty freak? Cause I am, that's me. No, but anyway, so, um, I stayed in the woods in a lean-to for like two days, so I was just like sleeping basically outside for the last two days, which is actually really fun. A lot less scary than I thought it was gonna be. I kinda thought I was gonna be murdered the first night, but apparently that's not what happens up in Vermont. There were a lot of, I guess, 
hicky type people because because that's the area you're in when you're in vermont it's like in the middle of nowhere basically so it's kind of a little more um loose end everyone's a loose cannon basically uh, is the way Vermont goes. So yeah, um, we hiked out there. We climbed up to the top of the Green Mountain, which is uh, Mount Mansfield up in um, Vermont. If you want to take a look at that, you can. It's probably on Google Maps. Uh, I'm sure I have a picture that I can flash up onto the screen right now. So you can see a picture of me mountain biking right there. Uh, you get a great view of Vermont. So um, yeah, as I said, we climbed to the top of Mount Mansfield. Uh, we went to the summit at first, and then we went all the way to the highest peak on the mountain. Um, I believe we did about eight and a half to nine miles of hiking. It took us about five, five and a half hours, I would say, of hiking, just straight nonstop. We, we took like five, five, ten minute breaks in between, you know, like every hour or so, but that's about it. That's like the only breaks we took, really. And uh, so, yeah, we made it to the top of the mountain. It was freaking great. And then we climbed all the way down. We, we more like ran down the mountain, I would say, like jumped in between all the stones and stuff on like the bare shoulders of the mountain. It was freaking cool though, like that was one of the coolest things, like being up on top of a mountain and looking down at everything below you and all that stuff happening, like it's just such a surreal view, like something you really never see. And it brings out like, I don't know, it brings out this really good feeling inside of you, like that's what humans are meant to do is to explore. And, I don't know, it just feels really great being on top of a mountain. It's all fresh air, fresh water. Um, you can drink some of the water, not all. There are, like, places that you shouldn't drink the water just because, at this point in time, humans have basically polluted everything. Uh, we've run our sources dry and, and all that stuff. So you got to be wary of what you're doing, um, what you're eating, what you're drinking, and all that stuff. Wow, I just wrecked faces with that guy. So um, let's pick up the good stuff. But yeah, you got to be aware of what you're doing, what you're eating, and all that stuff. Um, you know, you shouldn't be too concerned. Like, you shouldn't be, like, in your hometown thinking, oh my god, there's going to be, like, awful stuff happening to me if I drink this water. Like, no. That's not how it is. But, um, anyway, so, so yeah, that's, like, an off tangent. But, anyway, um, after we hiked the mountain, we stayed there another night and then woke up the next morning and we decided to go to the Sugarbush, um, resort, which is basically a ski mountain, but in the summer and springtime, they have mountain biking up there, which is super, super, super cool. And I had a lot of fun playing, playing around with the bikes. They give you these, like, $5,000 bikes, right? And they let you rent them for about $150 a piece, I think. And I should mention that uh, I didn't go up with any family. Well, I guess I went up with my cousin and my brother and then my cousin's friends. So that's how that went. Um... And yeah, they let you rent these like $5,000 bikes for like a hundred freaking dollars and then you pay $10 extra and you get um, you get like insurance basically and you could break the bike and nothing would happen to you. So yeah, we mountain biked for a while and uh, that was really fun actually. I had a lot of fun on the mountain bikes. That guy's done and now there's this last guy. So yeah, um, I wiped out a crap ton on the mountain bikes, like an absolute butt ton of times I wiped out. And uh, I'm all beat up, bruised, battered, scarred. And I guess I won the game right there as I'm talking about my story. But either way, um, yeah, uh, we, we mountain biked for about like seven hours, I would say. No, 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 it couldn't have been seven. It was less than that. It was like six. Six hours we were at that resort. So yeah, um, that's that's the reason why I've been gone, haven't been uploading videos. So uh, I know, unfinished topic, didn't get through it all, didn't get to put all my thoughts out there. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next episode. Take care, and bye bye